Hey everyone, Anthony here from Successful Working Parents. Welcome to the show. We are in the studio with Valentina on our six month update. Val, say hello. Still not talking, but she is babbling a bit, so we might uh, we might hear some noises at some point. Um, some quick updates for you guys. It's been six months into this journey, so just finished paternity leave. Uh, my wife went back to work, and then I I waited to go on leave until she went back to work. So it was just me for like six weeks. Uh, it was great. It was really nice. Nice to spend time with her. But it was also really hard, actually. A lot harder than I thought it was going to be. You know, it sounds kind of glamorous, just not working and hanging out at the house. But it was actually pretty tough. A lot less downtime than I thought there'd be. And, you know, I I, I hear you guys. It's not as easy as it, it might it might seem. Just Just, you know, not working and taking care of a kid all day. We are starting daycare tomorrow, right, Val? Starting daycare tomorrow. And uh, I'm not ready is really <laughs> the long and the short of it. You know, I, I, she's, she doesn't love being held by people that aren't us, her mom and dad. So I just feel like she's probably just, you know, even though she's only six months, she might not really know what's going on. I think she, she's going to have a tough time. Um, I don't have, you know, if you told me that she was going to, not mind that I, I don't have a problem with her just like being somewhere else for the day like i think i'm okay with that but i just feel like she's gonna be freaking out i'm I'm just telling myself that it's like a good a good stressor like a positive trauma right like not something that she's not like being abandoned and in and, and, and like prison you know like i think that she'll it'll be good for her and it's a good stressor instead of uh, uh some sort of irrevocable damage type of trauma but we'll see if that's true um so some things I've learned you know, from having guests on um, over the last six months or so, um, one thing I wanted to share was to take more video. This has been a great one. Somebody suggested the the one second app and they suggested it recently. And I was like, well, it's a little late because we missed out on you know five months of seconds. But shout out to my wife. She actually downloaded the app and just backlogged. We had some pictures or videos from every day. And so it captures a second of her life. And we have a video now that's like a few minutes long of, of every day. Uh, second every day since she was born. So it's pretty cool. And I highly recommend it. It's not too late if you haven't done it yet. I know it took a little while to, to backlog. Other than that, like the big advice is always just repeatedly when I ask people what advice they have for me is to just soak it up and just en en enjoy the moment. Yeah, right? You got something to say now? Um, I'm trying to think of how to really more intentionally soak it up. And uh, maybe that involves maybe some mm. some like journaling or just some more documentation uh, to just really appreciate the moment. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe soak it up just means appreciate the moment and, and put my phone down. Um, so we're going to give that a shot. And then also just not – it's funny because a lot of people's advice is not, you know, don't listen to everything that's out there. There's a lot of content out there, which is true. And so I try to take that to heart even though I'm asking them for advice. And then they're telling me their advice is not to take any. What are you going to do? That's really it for us today. We're going to see how we do a daycare. We're back to work, both of us, both parents, not Val, but both parents back to work. We're going to daycare. Wish us luck. Um, and we'll see, we'll see you guys uh, next week for another interview. Thank you. Say bye, Val. Not today.